Where you been? What's important to me is benefits, health insurance, 401k, pension, holidays, vacation pay. They need to have all that. Yeah. Would you be involved with somebody who didn't? No. Is there a reason why? Because I did it for a long time and I know that you don't get nothing. And they can let you go whenever they want. I think also having the union. So. Also, they need to work in the union even, so they need security, security. Yes, yeah, security, security. Understood. So for me, um, I don't think that men need to have money. I think that both parties need to be contributing something. And I think, like from my own personal experiences, I'm the breadwinner. Um, but I think that the other person needs to be able to hold up their end of the stick also, and not necessarily in a financial point of view or aspect but I think more so when it comes to like emotional so I'd rather a hard working man yeah. than a man with money because a hard working man will find some money. A man with money if he loses his job yeah. they're gonna find a way. Even if you gotta go out there and sell them water. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the budget cut we are forced to ask the public for a simple donation. Quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, anything will help towards the cost. Thank you. Come keep our program alive, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, a man gotta have a sense of self direction. Money comes and goes. If you don't know who you are and can't figure out where you're going, I can't do nothing with that. You can't agree to go together, you know?
loved her. And he loved her in a way that defied, way that all, defied logic all logic. Because who needed because logic? Who needed logic? Who could feel? And isn't feeling, feeling what it's all for anyway? anyway. He loved her in, he loved her in a way, way that he had long since stopped, stopped trying to make sense of and had come to decided, decided that if indeed, that if indeed there were lives there were other than this, he'd be sure to find her in every one. He was, he was certain that he had loved her before. He must have loved her in a way before. Undoubtedly he would love her and everyone after. He had not fallen or risen to loving her. He had surrendered to her. Putting, putting his sword down because fighting something that must have been put in a place thousands of years prior to his knowing simply seemed like a waste of time. Why bother wasting time when you could love? Why bother wasting time when you could? When you could love? Could have done better, but I, I lack focus. Where you been? Next stop, East Fordham Road and Valentine Avenue. Transfers available to the D train and BX34. White people love firearms more than they love black people. White people love weed more than they love black people. White people love black culture more than they love black people. White people love putting themselves in danger more than they love black people. White people love TV shows with black people in them more than they love black people. White people love the Republican Party more than they love black people. White people love cars more than they love black people. White people love their privilege more than they love black people. Welcome to the Bronx. Voices clinging to the dry air, clubbing train cars with the boom bap. Truncated ellipses from things almost said, too hot for all of us to pay attention. This is the kind of heat Radio Rahim died for. Brush strokes of humidity fanning the currents of grass. Medicinal herbs floating alongside the slow guitar strum and trumpet sway of a malnourished park. Looking for wind and water signs. We ball like tomorrow's an and one mixtape like it will come in a wheelchair or a McDonald's drive through This, the begotten displacement of a foreign diaspora. We are the cornbread fed niggas. Tooth decay, shoot shots, pray heaven is a trail away, squeeze lead for the sinners, benign schoolgirl poacher beginners, tooth to nail, toot a horn for the hail that will come. Hail is a Tom Ford affordable hand basket. This is hell froze over in a summer jam casket or a version of a one man cell I cannot tell. We are stuck here, sucking on fog, no slum dog millionaire, yeah, just smog from the intestinal hog here, virgins plucking pubic hairs in broad day, if it is all fair, why the fair skin make it easier to blend in to park there, we part chairs, dependent on the arch of your skin bare, rare form, air, 
clay motion caches catch us Beat the heat with a djembe or an open palm with a creased thigh rubbing baby oil. The portent future of a sun bearable, glazing sweat, slick and putrid. Be smelling like burnt firecracker streets swelled with the pump, 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 pumped water of a hydrant. The noise, the noise of a splashed car, the trap banging out the rhythm, we know it when the salsa screeches over sirens, when the footballs are out of reach, when bodega cats dip and charm out between legs, when the lines for the numbers gets longer and longer and longer than the buttery thighs of Boricuas bulleting the block, when the grills and gunshots get too close for comfort, when bodies drop like houseflies, when fireworks warm their way through the clouds like warm chimney puffs, all in an attempt to beckon the remaining bits of summer in the burrow Robert Moses drilled a cavity in. Made a ghetto, but we made Mecca instead. Inshallah. Bury me here. Bury me here. Bury me here. Forever. What you're looking for, you, you know where it is, you know where it's at. Go straight there, stop fucking around. Stop fucking around. Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> you're not gonna do that though. Yeah. You gonna <laughs> You're not gonna do that though. You gonna walk straight through. See y'all, man. What y'all niggas using on y'all bed? Yes. Man, you. It's that bed or you, man. Nah, I ain't even gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah. My secrets, my secrets. <laughs> Where you been? Yeah. 